On the morning of 27th April, 1521, a terrible battle broke out on the coast of Mactan, the Philippine island, ending with the island's victory over the Spanish campaign of Magellan that sought to occupy the Philippines. For 40 years, the Spaniards never dared to approach the Philippines again. At the time, the island leader was a man whose name would be remembered by history. He is the Muslim Sultan Lapu Lapu. The password is the dignity. While Zola, another prince of the Philippines, agreed to pay the unfair royalty that Spain tried to impose on the Philippines to preserve his properties, Lapu Lapu raised the flag of freedom and refused to be a slave in his homeland. He gathered a thousand and five hundred of his compatriots and attacked the ships at dawn on an impossible mission. There were about 30 ships loaded with Spanish soldiers with sophisticated weapons that no one else had at the time. Thanks to the courageous leader Lapu Lapu and his soldiers, the Spanish soldiers were forced to flee and leave the Philippines. No wonder you see his image today on the Philippine police logo and the Fire Protection Bureau. Like all the Muslim leaders, Lapu Lapu believed in the words of Allah. وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمَ وَحَمَلْنَاهُمْ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ وَرَزَقْنَاهُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَفَضَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَى كَثِيرٍ مِّمَّنْ خَلَقْنَا تَفْضِيلًا The history of Islam is rich with great leaders from all walks of life. They belong to all the races. They have led their peoples to glorious victories that their grandchildren may not know today. But their source of inspiration remains preserved by Allah. <laughs>